I want to bring back in a Republican strategist, Alex Conan. So, Alex, you've heard what Jamie had to say there. We're still waiting on an official, quote unquote, autopsy report from the Democrats on the 2016 election. What do you think uh, about Harrison's idea on why Hillary Clinton lost? Well, I think it's a little bit of denial, to be honest with you. Uh, yes, she did win the majority vote, but she lost the states where the campaign was actually fought. All of those battleground states, she lost the vast majority of them. And then the margin doesn't really matter. Trump got what he needed to win and she lost. But the even bigger problem facing the Democrats is the low, is how they've been wiped out in governor's mansions and st state legislatures around the country. Where is the next generation of Democratic leadership? It's not in Congress. It's not in the governor's mansions right now. It's MIA. Uh, and that is a long-term problem for the Democratic Party. And Alex, do you think the Democrats pushing hard against President Trump's cabinet picks is a good strategy? Well, look, it's their role to play the opposition. I just think that they need to be very wise in how they pick their, in picking their battles moving forward. Does it make sense to, to throw everything you've got at the education secretary like they did this week? I don't think so. She's not somebody, first of all, she's imminently qualified for the job. And second of all, she's not somebody who people back at home are gonna, are all that worried about. She's gonna do a good job as, as education secretary. Same thing with the labor secretary, just down, up and down, up and down the, the, the list that you just put on the screen there. These are very qualified people for those positions. I think it's fine to pick one or two to, to, to you know, make a point out of, but they're going after every one of them. And as a result, it weakens their arguments for everybody. And Alex, as you know, we've seen protests pop up around the country in reaction to some of President Trump's policies. Do you think that Democrats can take the kind of populist idea that President Trump channeled in his campaign and use it to their advantage against him now? Well, we'll see. I mean, look, the Democrats do very well in big cities on the coasts, and that's where we've seen most of these protests in places like here in Washington, D.C., New York, California. They are losing national elections and they are losing congressional elections in the heartland. And that is where they need to figure out a message to appeal to new voters if they are going to do better. I don't think that doubling down on Silicon Valley and the Acela Corridor, as a lot of the Democratic leaders are suggesting they do, is going to be a ticket to majorities anytime in the near future. Uh, Alex, earlier you mentioned the lack of the next generation for the Democratic Party. What do you make of the race for DNC chair so far? Well, it's it, it's wide open. I think it's interesting that Joe Biden has 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 weighed in in, in some cases, but it is a reflection of after Obama, it's very unclear who the leader of the Democratic Party is right now. And if you look at Democratic Democrats in Congress, they are they are not the next generation. People like Elizabeth Warren do not represent the future of our country. I think that's part of the reason why Mitch McConnell is eager to elevate her as a leader of the Democratic Party because she does not speak to millennials. And, and, and Gen Xers uh, who, 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 who are looking for leadership in this new post-Obama environment. Well, we'll continue to watch it. Alex Conan, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Hey, thank you. It.